for how to assign a test in Linkit. First thing we want to do is go over to um, online testing, assign online tests, and then you need to know your grade, which we should all be doing 9 through 12, your subject, your bank. Okay, so this is like your folder, so this is what you've done in where your test design was. So for this year, let's say I want to pick this test, I'm sorry, this class, Science 2.0, and then I want to specifically find a test in here. Let's say I want to do this one. If you're not sure, you could always preview the test. It'll show you what it'll look like. Um, all of this, you can leave the same. You don't have to change anything here. Um, all the way down to where you actually select your courses. If you want to give this to multiple sections, you just have to go through this multiple times. So that was my Science 2.0 class, so I'm going to pick on my first on there. Um, I'll just leave it the way that it is. And then it has preferences in effect. This is where you can modify some things. Um, so like if you want to require them to answer all the questions, you can. If you want to allow them to pause the test, you can leave all of this stuff the same. There's only a couple things that you might want to um, do. One thing it says require password. So the students will have to enter their student ID number. That's what their password is. So somebody couldn't log into another student unless they knew their student ID number. Um, there's also shuffling questions. I like to turn this on just because they're on laptops so they can, if, even if they can see each other's screens, they're um, on different questions. You can even shuffle the multiple choice questions. You can do this as well as long as your multiple choice answers don't require them to be in a certain order. So some, some questions might, you, you know, you'd find out real quick once they take the test if things don't make sense. Um, full screen browser mode. This is when they're logged in, when they're on the Chromebook, if they click the app button, um, they can load link it and then they won't be able to change tabs or anything. Um, there's a couple of accommodations that are kind of neat too. You can make test limit, test time limits. Um, if you want to, you can give them warnings about that. You can schedule tests so that they can only take them during certain times. All of this gets kind of complicated and you don't need to do most of it. Um, but if you have some things where you need to allow them to zoom in or contrast, like different things on here, most of them are a default on that they could add them if they want. Um, okay, so one thing you might want to do is check these things if you're giving a math test, if you want to allow them to use a calculator. I like to turn this one on, the eliminate choice tool. So like if they know answer A is definitely wrong, they can click a button and that'll just make it disappear. So they're not going to get distracted by A anymore. They'll just focus on if it's B, C, or D. And then if they figure out, oh, definitely not D, they could click the button again. And now it's just between B and C. Um, that might help. Flag item tool. This allows them to say to themselves, okay, I didn't, under, I didn't know this question, let me try some other ones, but it's flagged so that they'll know to go back to it and check it out again, so you can leave that on. Um, and then in other, this you probably want to turn off if they can review the test. So as soon as they finish the test, they would then be able to go back if this was on and see all the questions that they got wrong and know what the right answers are. Um, if you're giving it to multiple sections, you don't want them to talk between classes, you might want to keep this off. If you want to change anything, you just click the change button and then change through those, those things in there. Um, the biggest thing though is clicking assign. So once you click assign, It'll, all right, because I already gave this test, it's going to give me a warning. No matter what it does, you always click yes if it gives you a question. It basically, if a kid takes the test again, it'll override their original grade with the new grade. Um, so if you're doing makeups, that's good. Um, okay, so this tells you in here your class and your section, and then this is their specific test code. So this you kind of want to hide until you're about to give the test because if they know this ahead of time um, and you don't have the test kind of like locked, they could go in there and take the test early um, at home or whatever. So again, don't show this to them until in class when you're doing the test um, right there. Now, if you want to, you have another section you want to assign the test to, if we go up and just change this from this section to the next section, it'll change it to the next section, it'll change your students, and then you just click assign again. And now, again, same question. I'm gonna click yes, and now we have two codes, one for each of the different classes. All right, and that's how you assign a test in Linkit.
signed a test, you gave your class a code, and you want to see how they're doing on it, if you go back into online testing and then click on monitor online testing, it'll actually show you um, your tests that are open. So these are the two that I just created. I'm not going to press this because it's going to give all my student names out. Um, but if you were to click this, it would then show you which question all of your students are on. And um, actually, it'll show you what questions they haven't answered yet. So you can really quickly see in a grid um, where they all are. So you can kind of track their progress. You can also pause tests from in there. So if there's a student that's not in class and you're concerned that they might get the code from someone and then take the test at home, you can pause their test and um, then it'll be they can't take it until you unpause it or resume it. And um, that's pretty much it.